Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square uh, A, B, C, D along with these uh, line segments uh, A, E, this line segment uh, B, E, this line segment uh, C, E and finally this uh, line segment uh, D, E inside uh, this uh, blue square as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this triangle uh, B, E, C is our isosceles triangle. In other words, uh, this uh, side length uh, C, E equal to this side length uh, B, C. And moreover, uh, this uh, line segment uh, A, E is 8 units. And this angle uh, A, E, B is a 90 degrees angle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square uh, A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square. Since it's a square, all sides are going to be equal in length. That means this side uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side and this is going to be equal to this side. All side lengths are equal across the board. And now I'm going to label the side length uh, of this uh, square as uh, x. Then all these uh, side lengths are going to be x units uh, across the board. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this blue square a, b, c, d. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the side length of this uh, square is uh, x. So therefore, uh, the blue square area is going to be x uh, square. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x square. And now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle ABC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle ABC is our isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, PC on this uh, side uh, BE. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. Here we got an isosceles triangle uh, ABC since this side length uh, equal to this side length. And uh, CD is the perpendicular on this uh, base AB. Then we conclude that this uh, segment uh, AD has got to be equal to this segment uh, BD. In other words, uh, these two segments are uh, equal in length. So therefore, we conclude that this segment uh, EP has got to be equal to this segment uh, BP. In other words, uh, this segment EP has got to be equal to BP. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume this angle is our angle alpha. We know this is our 90 degrees angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And we know that this whole angle is a 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this square. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. We know this is our 90 degrees angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. Now we are going to focus on these two right triangles. This right triangle uh, AEB. And this uh, other right triangle uh, BPC. And now we can see that these two right triangles, uh, right triangle AEB and the other right triangle BPC are our congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. Since uh, these are our angle alpha, beta and 90 degree angles. And likewise, we got uh, alpha, beta and 90 degree angles as well. And furthermore, uh, this side length uh, AB equal to this side length uh, BC. 
So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, segment uh, BP is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE as you can see in this given equation and we know our AE segment length is 8 so therefore our this uh, BP segment length has got to be 8 units as well and since uh, these two segments are equal in length so therefore uh, this segment uh, EP length has got to be 8 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side uh, EB length has got to be 8 plus 8 is going to give us uh, 16 units. So therefore uh, this whole uh, EB length turns out to be 16. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEB and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case our hypotenuse is X whereas our two other legs are 8 and 16 units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 8 square plus uh, 16 square is going to be equal to x square. Let's simplify that is going to give us 8 square is going to be 64 plus 16 square is 256 equal to x square. Let's add these two numbers. So therefore our x square value has got to be 320. So thus we figured out our x square value as 320. And now let's recall once again the blue square area is going to be equal to x square. And our x square value is 320. So therefore I'm going to substitute that uh, 320 value over here. So thus our blue square ABCD area turns out to be 320 square units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our blue square ABCD area turns out to be 320 square units. In other words the area of this uh, blue square is 320 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.